I know a lot of people are like that. Stay law, my law. I think I've explained that really, really badly. Why are you so like that? People. Oh, paise, paise. Is that a local spider? Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well today. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about 10 singlish words and phrases that left me completely confused when I first moved to Singapore. I was like, what on earth are people talking about? I had no idea what they meant. But today, everything makes more sense because I now understand what Singlish things mean. Well, not all of them. Honestly, there's so many that I, I think I could never learn every Singlish word and phrase, but I found out the meaning to these ones and I thought I would share them with you guys today. If you haven't seen any of my Singlish videos before, I have a whole playlist. I'll leave it up here or down in the description below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Before we get started, I just want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and just curious people in general. So classes on Skillshare include illustration and design, business development, video, photography, and freelancing. So there are plenty of creative classes to choose from. And honestly, I feel like right now there's no better time than while we're in quarantine to pick up new skills and improve our craft. I've personally been using Skillshare recently to learn more about digital marketing and in particular marketing through Pinterest. So I've been watching Pinterest Marketing 101 for Creative Entrepreneurs by Peg Fitzpatrick and I've really enjoyed learning about a whole new side of digital marketing. The first 1,000 of my subscribers that click the Skillshare link down below in the description box will get a free two month premium membership to Skillshare and you can use it to explore your creativity. And after that, it's less than $10 a month for an annual subscription. So if you guys are interested, do go click the link below. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first English phrase is catch no bull. And when I first heard this, I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> what bull are you talking about? Um, so catch no bull basically means to not understand something. So it's like, I don't get it. I don't understand. Catch no bull. I don't know what you're talking about. Apparently this originates from a dialect of Hokkien and it's um, predominantly used in Malaysia and Singapore, but catch no bull. I don't know what you're talking about. Again, another one that I think is a Hokkien word is paise. Paise. I heard this used in a few different ways. I heard it like, oh, paise, paise, or someone can be paise. And I never really got it. I was like, I had to ask my friends, what does paise mean? So it's just a Hokkien way of, some, of saying something is embarrassing or that you are embarrassed. So you'd be like, oh, paise means like, oh, I'm really embarrassed. Expresses a sense of shame or that you're shy. So it could, I don't know, I guess it has like a few different meanings, maybe like three different meanings then. Um, but yeah, it's like something's embarrassing or you're shy about something, paise. So you'd be like, I'm, I'm paise to ask Johnny Depp for a photograph. It's like, I'm shy to do something or I'm embarrassed. Another one which I remember first hearing this and was like, what? Kanchong spider. Say that again. Kanchong spider. Apparently it's an adjective and it means someone is like anxious or uptight about something. So it's used to describe a person. Oh, you're like, you're so Kanchong spider. It's like you're always worrying about something or you're anxious about something. That is literally me. I, I feel like I am Kanchong spider. By the way, am I saying that right? Is it, is it Kanchong? Kanchong spider. I think that's how you say it. When you first see it, you're like, what on earth does that mean? Are you talking about a kind of, I don't know, is that a local spider? What do you mean? Another one is very strange. I thought it was a type of fruit. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what they were talking about. Uh, yaya papaya. Papaya, is that a type of papaya? I don't know what you mean. But again, yaya papaya is to describe someone as like a flashy person or like an arrogant person. So if someone's like showing off or they're like, oh, I got a promotion. I don't hear this used too much, but I just think it's really funny and I always have to like try and remember what it means. But yeah, it means someone's like arrogant, a bit flashy. He's yaya yeah, papaya. Okay, another one is stylo milo. Stay law, my law. I feel like this one is quite self-explanatory. Like it kind of does make sense. It means that someone is like really stylish or someone that's like trying to, like trying too hard to be stylish. Obviously you wouldn't say it in a British accent. Like I, I get all of these sound cringy AF in a British accent. Don't say them in a British accent. <laughs> Blur like satong. Blur like 
Sutong. I know what blur meant. I was like, yeah, blur means you're like a bit oblivious, you're not really with it, you're a bit slow. But blur like Sutong, I think it's just the same thing. It's just a way of explaining that someone has no idea what is going on. Someone that just doesn't really like follow with what's happening. They are blur like Satong. Okay, this is something that I was really confused about when I first heard Singaporeans saying it, is the word anyhow. So the word anyhow used in sen sentences like, uh, why she anyhow do things? Or why she anyhow like that? Don't anyhow touch that. It basically just means, it's like, why do they do things in that way? Why are they doing it like that? That's kind of what it means. I've, I think I've explained that really, really badly. Leave me a comment. How would you explain what anyhow means? Similar to that is, why are you so like that? Why are you so like that? Why are you so like that means, why are you that way? Like, why do you do things that way? It's a singlish phrase, which means, why are you behaving in this way? It's used to show frustration or to somebody that is annoying you. So if someone's annoying you, why are you so like that? Apparently there was a famous song called Why You So Like That. Oh, Why are You So Like That. <laughs> so yeah, if you don't like the way someone's behaving or they're annoying you, you say Why You So Like That. Kipo, Kipo, Kapo. It's not Kapo. So the word Kipo means busybody or someone that's nosy. So if someone's really Kipo, they're just nosy. And I like this word. I use this word a lot because I am quite Kipo. Um, I am quite nosy. So whenever I think of nosy in my head now, I think of that word. It's really weird, like Singlish has taken over my mind. I wouldn't necessarily say it because I just sound stupid. Like I, I know guys that I sound stupid saying these Singlish words in my accent. I'm very aware, but I still appreciate Singlish. Okay, the next word is, <laughs> this one makes me laugh every time because it was Gregory that taught me this word. I'll include a little flashback here. The next word is pangse. What? Uh, se. I don't know, it's like nothing I've heard. Pangse It means, it's a Hokkien term, again, which basically means to abandon. Abandon someone. So if you don't turn up somewhere, it's a bit like bonjour. Bonjour. No, bonjour is like leaving someone out, not inviting them. And then pangse is someone that doesn't turn up for like meetings or appointments. So why are you always pung se? <laughs> Means like, why do you never turn up? Thinking about it, I could have used this a lot in the past. I know a lot of people like that. All right guys, they are my 10 Singlish words and phrases that I now understand, but I used to be so confused by them. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do be sure to hit that like button, just that little like button if you did enjoy this video because it really helps my videos to be seen. Subscribe, of course, if you wanna see more from me. And do be sure to comment below with your favorite Singlish words and phrases or just like weird ones that you think I don't know. I think that'd be more interesting because like I said, there's so many that I don't know. So if there's any that I haven't mentioned previously, please do leave them below. I would love a Singlish lesson from you guys and I can learn some new words. Thank you guys for watching as always and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.